For the past decade, the footwear market has consistently outperformed growth in apparel sales. This has been particularly visible back in 2009, right in the middle of the recession, when apparel growth plunged to zero, whereas footwear still managed to achieve <coughs> positive performance. This indicates that footwear is more resilient to economic ups and downs when compared to clothing, and the major reason for this is the frequency of use. Shoes are simply worn more often, which means that many consumers treat them as an investment and they're prepared to pay higher price for premium quality with an understanding that better quality shoes will last longer and therefore can be purchased less often. In 2014, we're expecting 6.5% growth in footwear globally, which is a very healthy figure, and it's higher than the growth in apparel. In terms of competitive environment, we have seen a very strong polarization trend. On the one hand, economy brands like Primark or Diamond and a grocery private label are doing really well. Um, for example, in Germany, private label already accounts for over 16% of total footwear sales. And this is driven by uh, consumers who do not want to compromise in volume purchases. They still want to buy as many pairs of shoes and instead they're prepared to compromise quality for the lower price. On the other side, we have got premium and luxury brands which are also showing solid performance. Designer shoes have now become an essential style statement, especially in the women's category, but recently increasingly in men's footwear as well.